Hey guys, welcome back to Warhol Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working guys on Jeep Cherokee between year 2014 and year 2020 guys. And if you have any of the following guys, three codes, I'm talking about code P2304, P2305 or code P2306 guys, stay with us, we'll explain what causes that and how to fix it guys. Most of the times it's just one component that causes all these three codes depending on how it fails. As you can see, the engine is out of the car. Why? because uh, we removed the engine guys to show you how to rebuild and replace remove pretty much anything on it guys uh, we made close to 100 videos and now we are making some uh, common problems engine codes and uh, things like that related to Jeep Cherokee why we do all that pretty simple our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way guys we can keep providing that free information to you so Let's say you find out what's wrong with the code, we'll share all the parts, tools, the scanner that we use guys, all that, the links will be in the description of the video below for your convenience. Let me show you what we have now here. This specifically guys is an engine, is an engine out of 2016 Jeep Cherokee 2.4 multi-liter engine guys. Uh, so uh, this is the multi-air. Uh, very complicated engine by the way but uh, it's very efficient that makes it very efficient this is the scanner that we use you can see it supports Jeep pretty much any car you can think of uh, this is my favorite scanner guys I'll put the link in the description of the video below what I love about that thing they release updates all the time second guys you can access every computer in your car you can read codes from every computer you can uh, delete codes and see live data for every computer. So amazing guys. Now, how do you guys fix any of those three codes from P2304 to P2306 guys? You need to remove your upper engine cover. For that purpose, just grab it and pull it straight up. It may be a little bit stuck. I pre-loosened ours, but you have four posts where it attaches to you. Okay, you can see and once you uh, pull it out, it just comes out guys. Now, right here, uh, let me show you what we're going to talk about now. Uh, starting on the very left side where the oil cap is, you're going to start with cylinder number 1, 2, 3 and 4 because it's a 4 cylinder engine guys. You have 4 ignition coil. Ignition coil is the one that tells the spark plug to actually release the spark. That's what creates the spark. And uh, they're very important. If it doesn't work guys, okay, your uh, spark plug on that cylinder will not work and your engine will misfire. And most of the times if you have more than one ignition code that's bad, your car may not even start. Now, uh, the codes that we're talking about guys, they relate to ignition coil number two, cylinder number two, right here guys. Uh, those are the other ones, okay, we have a video on the channel how to replace all of them, but things to look for guys, okay, make sure, okay, uh, let me actually go ahead and remove that thing, okay, I have everything pretty loosened here so I can show you guys, but make sure that the wiring harness, okay, is plugged all the way in, that red thing needs to be all the way in guys, otherwise, okay, if it's not in, it's going to come loose. Now, you press down here and you pull it out, okay. And this is your ignition coil. Now if you need to remove it, all we have to do, remove that bolt and pull it straight out. We have a special video that explains everything about replacing the ignition coils and how to access all of them. But now guys, when you pull it back in, make sure that it clicks all the way in. Okay, listen now. Make sure that it's all the way tight. Okay. And then push that red thing. Okay. Otherwise, okay, you can come loose guys. Now. If you don't push it all the way in, you will not be able to lock your red thing. So if you didn't lock your red thing, there is a problem, guys. Now, if it's not a broken wire, a loose connection, most likely it's bad ignition coil, and we'll have the link in the description of the video below where you can get one from, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more help, and see you guys next time.